Right now at 7 o'clock, the community is in mourning. Mourning the loss of a five-year-old girl shot and killed in Durham. This is Chloe. Family friends say her 15-year-old cousin used her own body to shield little Chloe during that mm. shooting. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ashley Rowe. And I'm Dan Haggerty. New here at 7 o'clock, we're getting our first look at that 15-year-old who tried to save Chloe's life. This is Destiny. She's in the hospital right now with serious injuries. In the last hour and a half, people were gathered for a vigil honoring both of those girls. The police chief was even there to show support. WRL's Aaron Thomas was there as well, joins us now live in Durham. Aaron. Yeah, Dan, Ashley, I'm standing in the plaza where more than a dozen people actually gathered over this heartbreaking tragedy involving two young children here in the Bull City. As you mentioned, uh, the police chief, Durham police chief, Latrice Andrews, she was here. Uh, she did not provide any remarks of, or anything, but she did want to show her support in this community that is obviously hurting. A family friend tells WREL that the 15-year-old jumped in front of her younger cousin, that's five-year-old Chloe Fennell, to shield her as bullets flew. Another young child was also in the house at the time of the shooting. At this vigil this evening, there's a call to action, making sure that guns do not end up in the wrong hands. We need to make sure that guns are in a safe place, for one, and are in the right hands of people that do own guns. And if you're not old enough to have them, I don't think that you should have them at all. Now, 42-year-old Brian Luster was arrested and charged with Chloe's murder. He's currently at Durham County Jail and being held there without bond. In the meantime, a family friend has set up a GoFundMe to help with Chloe's funeral expenses. But as you can imagine, for a lot of people out here, especially those who are parents, this is certainly hitting mm. close to home. Well, I can't Back to you. I can't imagine what that family, what that community is going through. Aaron Thomas live in Durham. Thanks.